Well, the dietitian at the Worcester County Health Department. And I'm Tiffany Scott, health educator of Worcester County Health Department. And our special guest. I'm David Bean. I'm the market manager of the Ocean Pines Farmers and Artisan Market. And here we are at White Horse Park in Ocean Pines looking forward to seeing what this big event has to offer our community. We have a lot of great vendors here today that are excited to see you. <laughs> great. Well, we're looking forward to touring it with you. Great. Well, David, can you give us a little bit of background on the farmer's market here? Sure. We're just about ready to start our seventh year here at White Horse Park. We're here year-round. Okay. And actually, we go indoors starting in the summer. We stay in there through the end of February and we go back outside again. Throughout the year, we have Close to 200 vendors have participated in this market. Wow, that's a lot. There's a lot of vendors yeah, here. You can yeah. find anything you want here. <laughs> There's a lot to see, a lot to do, a lot of family activities. Yes. A lot of wonderful, fresh, local produce. Every option that you're looking for. Sure. If you got a sweet tooth, we've got dozens of bakers here. <laughs>of vegetables out here. Can you tell us what you have out here? We got everything that's in season right now. We've got a lot of root vegetables, beets, potatoes, rutabagas, carrots, the things that are coming from the ground this time of year. Wow, is this all locally grown? We bring in some things that are not in season at this time because our customers want that fresh local option. Thanks, Thanks for them. Okay. Most of this is grown right here in Worcester County. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're just perfectly ready for just ready. eating on a sandwich or just eating. Exactly. And they're so good for you, high in monounsaturated fats, which are good for your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. She's been coming to the Artisans and Farmers Market Fair for a few years now, and Whatever you're doing smells really good. Fill us in on what this is. Well, today we're making some southern-style green beans and potatoes. Hopefully people will want to make this for a Thanksgiving side dish. Ah, good idea. It's very easy to make. We sauteed a little bacon and some onions. And then we put in our potatoes and the fresh green beans. Uh -huh. And a little bit of chicken stock or vegetable stock if you prefer to keep it vegetarian. vegetarian. Leave the bacon out if you want to. Uh -huh. And then we just cook it until the potatoes are soft. And as we stir it, it gets crazy. Creamy and delicious. So you're using some of the local produce being sold here Absolutely. and making something good, which is great for people to understand they can buy this and then go home and make something. Absolutely. I usually go over to David's stand and oh, pull off what I need. Very nice. And today we have a new mushroom vendor. Oh. And he gave me a beautiful box wow. of mushrooms. This is the um, potatoes and so green good. beans. Oh, yeah, and as God. they cook, I see the bacon. The stock will go away. <laughs> you see it getting creamy because all the stock is cooking off and now yeah. it's getting creamy. Hi, well here today we're at the another produce stand and it looks like you're from the Eastern Shore Food Co-op. And your name is? Jeff. Well can you tell us a little bit about Thanks. your produce? Yes, yeah, for the Eastern Shore Food, food Co-op. We represent local farms from the three lower counties and we represent local certified organic and naturally grown. Wow, so, and all of this comes from multiple farms yes. and all organic. Yes, today we're representing two farms, one from Westover and one out of Pittsburgh. Well, you know, we have a lot of consumers who really want the organic vegetables to kind of stay away from some of those, you know, chemicals and things. So yes. this is a, a, a real novelty to have this many things. Yes. Will you have this year round? We will have it year round. Throughout the winter, we'll have about what you see here uh -huh. today. And then see summer comes out will be summer. Really good. I Thank can't you. say enough. And I'm sure consumers will like to join us in the farmer's market to be able to purchase some of this. Yes. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you. Yeah. So we're here at the Ocean Pines Farmer's Market. We're here with Jose. Jose. Jose, so tell us a little bit about what you have here. He's got some interesting mushrooms on this yes. table. Things yes. you've never seen before. Yes, ma'am, maybe. Hey. All right, so we're a small uh, scale production, uh, and we specialize in the gourmet mushrooms. So we have multiple spe different species. Uh, for example, we have here uh, or one of our best sellers, which is called shiitake mushroom. This is called king oysters or royal trumpets. And uh, what are and those? Wow. That is one of our most uh, unique looking mushrooms. It looks like a yeah. pet. 
Yes, man. But it's not alive. But it's not alive. But it won't bite you. Are they soft when they're opened up? Does it feel like fur yeah. or more like a mushroom? It, it feels uh, different. But it's, a, it's very soft. It's a more. Uh, it's kind of medium uh, uh -huh. texture. And you just the, cut you, it up and stir fry it. Yes. And then uh, the unique feature about this mushroom is that it has a hint of seafood flavor in it. Oh. So it's, oh. it doesn't. Only, it not only looks different, but it tastes different too. Oh. Pseudo scallops. Uh, Yes, man. Yeah, exactly. It's a poor man's scallop. Also. It's actually really good mushrooms to cook with. So we have uh, different combinations. We try to make combinations. So people who are familiar with shiitake mushroom, they might venture and try something different. Sure, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are located in Cambridge. Uh, uh, we've been doing this for since 2012. Well, it's a great thing to have here at the Farmer's Market. It's something right. very unique. Thank Thanks a lot. Farmers markets, we have goats that enjoy the fresh vegetables. He's a great role model for people that are trying to eat better. He's eating some nice fresh tomatoes and he looks like he's enjoying it. Well, here we are at the Fresh Harvest Hydroponics Farm and my guest here is... My name is Rick. I work for Bill Jordan, who's the owner of Fresh Harvest Hydroponics. And my goodness, what are all these wonderful microgreens you have? We feature all different kinds of, of all healthy, 100% organic products. You know, I was recently um, someplace at a restaurant and they actually put these microgreens all on the top of my sandwich and they were outstanding. They add such a nice, like a pungent but a fresh flavor to what you're eating and they really, you know, are different to have on your food. Micro, microgreens are absolutely coming more and more popular at the local restaurants. They're mm -hmm. very, very healthy for you. Very, very good for you. They, they feature them in salads, on sandwiches, sure, like you yeah. said. Mm -hmm. And we also feature wheatgrass. Now, what do you do with wheatgrass? Wheat wheat, wheatgrass in this form is for your pets. Oh! In this form, like we, we sell a little container, we call it cat grass. Uh -huh. And people buy it for their pets, which helps their digestive system. I'll be darned. All, all of our greens are 100% organic, pesticide free. And if you open any one of our bags, uh -huh. you will see how it's a live, oh, living, I'll be a live living plant. Wow. 100% organic, yes. pesticide free. So are a novelty to a, I think, a farmer's market and it's great for our consumers to know that this is available. So Absolutely. Well, thank you for joining us here today at the Ocean Pines Marketplace. Um, our guest today, David, was just, you were so informative of letting us know what's here and we really appreciate the opportunity to showcase your event. Well, thank you for being here today. We've enjoyed having you. Great. Thank well, you. enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone, and come on out to the Farmer's Market. So just once more, when the weather gets cold, where will we find you? You'll find us at the Community Center beginning December 9th. Warm and cozy inside for your shopping. Very nice. All righty. see you, David.